A very happy Christmas to you all from everyone at Sky Sports News and what better time to bring you an extended episode of My Special Day with one very brave young man. In and out of hospital from an early age, life hasn't always been easy for 14-year-old Dubliner Oren Tully. His rare bowel condition means he won't be eating Christmas dinner in the same way as you or I today. But after numerous major surgeries, he won't let that get him down. A huge Chelsea fan, Oren's special day naturally took place at Stamford Bridge, where he wanted to meet his hero, John Terry. What he got was a whole lot more. One touch, one touch. Lads, back to the corners. On to Coleman, Balatoni. Penalty. Oh, Techers. Oh, shit, that way. Small guy, but a huge personality. You can't really mention him without talking about football. If I didn't have football, there would be no me. What's been your favourite moment as a Chelsea fan? Jeffy League final. The aim was to win the European Cup and we finally did it and we finally did it. I remember when Thomas Muller scored, I was nearly in tears. And then when Jogba scored the equaliser, it was absolutely very unbelievable. So I started doing, uh, doing a little jig. <laughs> Oren's love of Chelsea dates back to the League Cup final of 2007. He decided he'd support the team who won it, and Chelsea won it. That was it, I and mean, <laughs> everything after that became Chelsea. The buzz I get from watching Chelsea and when Chelsea win, it makes me feel really, really good. Without football, I don't think he'd be as happy or as confident as he is today. It's kept him going through kind of all the bad times as well. Oren has been in and out of hospital since an early age. But from when he was a baby, he was sick. When he was about eight weeks old, um, we brought him into hospital with meningitis. We didn't realise that at the time, but it was to do with the fact his bladder was very small. When Oren was nine years old, he went for surgery to solve the issue with his bladder. It led to a life-threatening bowel failure. After the surgery, due to nobody's fault, it obviously was something that was just there. Uh, it couldn't cope with the trauma and it just stopped working. Nobody had actually come, really come across someone who's kind of nine, ten years of age whose bowel literally just stopped working following this type of surgery. At one point one of the doctors told us that without a small bowel you can't live and it's our own small bowel that is uh, not working. I think my scariest day was when the doctor said well we can just pray and it was just then well they don't have the answers. I spent a, a long time in hospital and had uh, numerous surgeries to see what the problem was and they couldn't fix it. I was stuck in hospital for a, a long time. How long were you in hospital for? Uh, seven months. What was that like? Hell. He was sitting in a wheelchair for, God, so good a year and a half. The only thing Oren had to look forward to in life were Chelsea games. Literally just, it did drag him through everything, all the low points he had. Oren has some impressive scars. He can't eat solid foods and is fed overnight by a drip connected to his chest. But he doesn't let it get him down. Life is manageable now. Most importantly, he's out of that wheelchair, playing football once again. Words can't express. We, we, we just got, got Oren back. Oren's dad nominated him for my special day, knowing just how much Chelsea means to him. Uh, I think it'd be a dream come true. Really, it really would be a special day for him because he's he's just mad about Chelsea. He'd, he'd, he'd probably he'd probably tell the players more about them than they already think they know about themselves. And to every Chelsea fan, one man is the most iconic of them all. He's one of us. He was a fan growing up, and he made it. He made a dream come true by playing for Chelsea. Captain, leader, legend. Meeting John Terry and the rest of the Chelsea squad is Oren's dream. One afternoon back in November, it became reality when he arrived home from school. Hiya, I have a surprise for you. Oh, yes! They win! <laughs> <laughs> These are the guys from Sky Sports. Hey! They're here to see you. Yeah. I have something to show you. I'm going to play you a DVD.
welcome to Saturday Night Football and we interrupt our programming to bring you a very special message for one lucky Chelsea fan, Jamie. Yes, we do. This is a message for you, Oren. You've been nominated for our programme, My Special Day. And not only because you're a massive Chelsea fan, but also because you've been incredibly brave recently. Oren, we've heard you haven't been well, that things aren't always easy for you, so we've arranged something very special for you indeed. Just take a look at this. Hi, Oren. It's John Terry here from Chelsea. I've heard a lot about you recently, and I know you're a big Chelsea fan. As a nice gift, I'd like to invite you to the next Champions League game against Schalke. I really hope you can make it, and I look forward to seeing you after the game. Brilliant. And I think there might be some more surprises for you lining up as well. It's going to be a very special day for you. Have a great day, Oren. Good luck, mate. Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, it's brilliant! Thanks a million. Oh, that's brilliant, thanks. Two days later, Oren flew into London. His destination, Stamford Bridge. Oh, Matt has starts. Yeah, yeah, it was well. Oh, he's an unbelievable player. I can't wait. Schalke are in town for a crucial Champions League game. Once Oren has soaked up the pre-match atmosphere, he collects the tickets John left for him and is then told to take a look at the captain's programme notes. We return to the Champions League tonight and I want to give a special message to Oren Tully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the Chelsea program. Go on. A young lad who hasn't been very well recently and is here at tonight's game as our cat. I hope you enjoy the game, mate, and we look forward to meeting you afterwards. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best news ever! Oh, oh we crack. Can't wait. Names <laughs> <laughs> At least once we get in there, we can settle down and we can start singing. With John in the starting lineup, captaining the side, Chelsea won by three goals to nil, courtesy of Samueletto and Demba Barr. After the game, Oren made his way to the Chelsea dugout, where the team wanted to meet him. Come on, Chelsea! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! How are you, mate? Hey! Good? Yeah! Good? Yeah! Can I please get a picture with you? Where is the camera? Can I get too many pictures? Can I ask you a question, please? It depends. Is it difficult or easy? Uh, difficult. So, what's the question? Best moment in football. Doesn't have to involve Chelsea, but what's your best moment in my football? My best moment? Yeah. When I won the Champions League with Inter. That's so. See ya! After that, Oren met the entire team. Samuel! Yeah! Hey! You OK? Yeah, can I ask this question? Best moment in football? My best moment in the football? Yeah. Is um, when I score against um, Arsenal in... Champions League final? Uh, Barcelona, Arsenal final. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, Paris. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Oh, Paris! Oh, good. So, OK. Win the Champions League. That's so. Cool. What's your? Champions League as well. Same. Winning the trophies. Yeah? Can I ask a question? Yes. What was your favourite moment at Chelsea? This one. Now. <laughs> OK? I never forget. And it wasn't just the players who were keen to meet Oren. Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich also came to say a rare hello. Hey. How are you? I'm OK. Can you sign my jersey? Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yes. What was uh, your greatest moment in your 10 years with Chelsea? Uh, Champions League. I thought so. <laughs> See ya. And the big names kept on coming. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy the game? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good, good. And what was your favourite goal on this pitch then? On here? Um, Probably, I would say, Bayern Munich a few years ago. I scored down that end over there. I brought it easy if you want these. Oh, hell yeah! Yeah? <laughs> Lucky boy. <laughs> Can you sign it? Yeah. Bye. Bye. There was even one surprise we didn't set up. Iran! 
Chelsea's chief executive Ron Gourlay had a special guest of his own at the game. So Rafa Nadal and Ron Gourlay walk out next to each other and the most important one is... Ron Gourlay. <laughs> then came the moment Oren had been waiting for, his chance to meet John. Hey. Hello, mate. How are you? Good. You OK? Yeah. Nice to see you. I like your paragraph here. You like it, yeah? yeah? You give you a little mention, didn't I? Yeah, can you sign up in here? Right. How are you doing? You enjoy that game? Oh, yeah, yeah. brilliant. I've heard you've even got a, an interview with Roman. Yeah. Did you ask him a question? Yeah. You know, that's the first time ever. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it must be freezing, you need a jump on. I'm fine, yeah. You, you're not, not, not cold, no? No. So yeah. I've got a little special something for you yeah. in here as well. I've got my shirt from tonight's game. But the problem is... It does, really. It might smell a little bit. I don't care. <laughs> you don't care? No. What I can do is I can take that home tonight and wash it. Uh, no. No? Yeah. You want to take it? Yeah. Yeah? You yeah. can take it, no problem at all. You might have to wash it though. Uh, I'll never get it back. And more importantly, Ooh. you've got to wear the armband. Oh, hell yeah. On the left arm, yeah? Yeah. There we go. I'll never get it back if you took it home to wash it. <laughs> you would, I'll bring it to you. You've got quite a big muscle. That fits me, that does. Fine. There we go. You're definitely going to have to wash that shirt though, right? Oh, no way. No, no, you have to. <laughs> It'll start smelling. I don't care. All your, friends, all your friends will be saying, yeah, he's a nice fellow, that John Terry, but his shirt stinks. I don't care. Huh? I don't care. <laughs> You're not on the pitch already? No. Do you ever walk on the pitch? Yeah. Let me chop this down. Never walk out. Where was you sitting tonight? Over the West Stand. Over here? You're yeah. sitting up here? Over. You look still bigger now, you're down here? Yeah. Yeah. Much bigger, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> What was it like to win the Premier League titles here? <sighs> the best. Especially when we played the last game of the season here, you get to show the trophy to the fans. Yeah. And... Oh, I was over last season when you scored your 50th goal. Oh, was you? Yeah, against Liverpool. <laughs> You've got a great memory. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> What's the best stadium you've played in, other than this one, obviously? The best one. Barca. It's so big, even when you go out there, it's like probably about another two or three tiers like this, just all the way around, like mm -hmm. 90,000. You're not too cold, you want to put this on? No. Sure. Yeah. You want to put it on? Yeah. You're freezing. It's alright for me to get cold, not you though. A bit big, but who cares? <laughs> You'll grow into it. <laughs> Eventually. You got it? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Oren then went to the Chelsea dugout where he could pretend to be Jose Mourinho. Alright, here's one. <laughs> listen, he, he don't listen to me, he's not going to listen to you. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> but your free kicks are amazing! <laughs> what a character. As Oren and John prepared to say their goodbyes, they were interrupted by Oren's mobile phone. My mom. Thank you. What, Claire? Claire, how are you doing? No, it's John Terry calling. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he said you should be in bed. <laughs> Get him to bed too <laughs> <laughs> Oren then asked John if he would phone his best friend and fellow Chelsea fan William, who was back home in Dublin. Hello? Hey William! Yeah? I've got someone special here to say hello to you. William, how you doing mate? It's John Terry calling. Two things, nice to speak to you. Secondly, why are you not asleep? <laughs> You've got school tomorrow. <laughs> Listen mate, nice to speak to you, okay? Bye Will! Before he goes, John convinces Oren to let him wash that smelly shirt. He promises to return it when the pair meet back at Stamford Bridge the following day. Still to come on my special day, John and Oren hit the Chelsea mega store. You wear pajamas at night? Uh, nah. No, even I've got Chelsea pajamas. No, I wear the shirts today. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Oren scores a goal on the Stamford Bridge pitch. <laughs> yeah, look, there's your fans. Let's celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it wouldn't be a special day without the special one. Hi, Oren. Good to see you again. After an incredible evening with the Chelsea squad, Oren Tully arrives at Stamford Bridge the following morning, where Captain John Terry is waiting to meet him. Hello, mate. Hey. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Yeah. Sleep this night? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. What time do you go to sleep? Around, we'll have one. Have one. Come, come through, we'll show you about, alright? Alright. You got your boots? Yeah. Yeah? This is a change room, look. It's where everyone gets changed. They put the barriers up, but you're allowed to go anywhere today, you know that. <laughs> Thanks. So listen, a couple of bits. Yeah. 
my shirt from last yeah. night, which I'm, I'm going to wear, so I'll give you that after. That's Lamsey's shirt from last night, and he signed that to you as well. But also, Thanks. because you phoned, who did you phone last night? Oh, thanks a million. That's for him, all right? Yeah. Tell him that's for me. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Because we called him so late. Yeah. All right? And I'll give you my one after. All right, yeah. All right, but me and you are going to get changed and we're going to go out on the pitch, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to put my kit on, then we'll go straight out. Yeah, we will. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Who talked to the most being at Chelsea? Uh, that's I eat. The yeah. defenders. I always used to talk to the defenders and try and learn from them in training and stuff like that. So they used to help me after training and stuff. I probably used to get on their nerves a little bit. I used to say, how do I improve this? How do I do that? And so I used to ask them loads of questions. But do you practice your game as well? Yeah. Are you right footed or left? Right. Do you practice with your left? Yeah, every now and then, yeah. Yeah? Come have a look at this round here quickly. This All is right. where the videos are. So when we have our team meetings. Yeah. Tactical board. Yeah. So the manager puts the team up on there, puts all chairs there, and we have to sit there and listen to him. Then after the meeting, this all gets cleared. After the game, they put all the food there, the chefs come in. Would you have ever thought about leaving Chelsea before the money came? Me? Never. Never. There, there was no money here when I was younger. Yeah, exactly, that's because why I asked. Loved it. <laughs> no, I never. I don't want to leave. Chelsea's my club. The pair continue to swap Chelsea stories as they make their way to the pitch. Do you remember Ash's clearance off the line the last minute? Yeah, oh, in the, against Napoli. In the away leg? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. And then Oren's dream comes true as he gets to play football with the Chelsea skipper on the Stamford Bridge turf. You got any good players in your team, in your Sunday team? Yeah, some of, some of them. Rebounds, rebounds. <laughs> yeah, look, there's your fans. Let's celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> After he's given a tour group a glimpse of his goal celebration, John directs Oren to the touchline. Have you seen what's over there? What? Have you seen what's over there for you? Look what we got. What? Have you seen the two trophies? You're not <gasps> even sitting, you're too busy celebrating with the fans, that's why. Huh? John, list it up. Can I at least? <laughs> yeah, of course you can. I reckon you might struggle, it's really heavy. <laughs> isn't it? Heavy, isn't it? Yeah. And I feel the weight of that one, the Champions League one. How about that? You've scored a goal, you celebrated with the fans, now you had your, you pick the trophies up. <laughs> Should you get a picture with both of them? Yeah. yeah? After they've got their picture, John has another surprise lined up. After all, it wouldn't be a special day without the special one. Right, come with me a sec. Yeah. Got, got one more little surprise for you. Hi, Oren. Good to see you again. I think last night was, was good. Uh, you enjoyed the game, you enjoyed the result. You were a, a great journalist because I know you made some, some tricky questions, not just to, to myself. And now you are back there. Empty stadium, but you can you can enjoy with uh, with John and um, see you soon. Hope you are always back to to Stamford Bridge and enjoy enjoy our our club and hopefully many more victories. Bye, bye, kid. Enjoy it. How about that? <laughs> really? <laughs> Don't come much better than that, does no. it? From the main man. <laughs> yeah, you can keep that as well. Later that day, the conversation turns to the famous evening in Munich when Chelsea won the Champions League under Roberto Di Matteo. Brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. He'd done a lovely thing for us before we played the Champions League final the night before. He, uh, he called us into the team meeting, so we're expecting to go there and him give us like a, a briefing on, on Bayern Munich. And there was yeah. a message from all the, um, all the players' wives, all the players' kids, and everyone was in tears, all the players were crying. And <laughs> This was the, uh, the night before the game and stuff. But it was like really, it was really different. No managers have ever done that before, but it was really nice, like a really nice touch from him. The pair then went to the Chelsea Museum to reflect on that night and some of John's other favourite moments. It was just meant to be with Didier's penalty, yeah. the last one as well. What was your favourite of all those three? I think because we'd done the double the FA Cup, that one, but first one we waited like 50 years for that. That was nice, I see the badge on that one. Yeah, the like century the kid, jersey, yeah. yeah. They could even watch highlights from one of John's favourite games. Watch Carvalho pull the keeper, look. <laughs> hey, you got one then, or you got the Champions yeah. League one. 
you got one better than that. Imagine ending that. You wouldn't want to. You wouldn't be shouting cross it over, would you, like that? Carl looked young there, don't I? Yeah. You're not allowed to show that. You're not allowed to show that one of me. <laughs> After the museum, John took Oren to the mega store. This is Robbie. Oh, Oren, this is Robbie. Are you well? Are you paying? Huh? Are you paying? Robbie's paying. Have <laughs> <laughs> one of them. John can have one as well. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to get this in honor of my meeting with you. Get my one, then you can give yeah. me my one back. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I never thought I'd say John Terry's shopping for me. I'm your personal shopper. You wear pyjamas at night? Uh, nah. No, even I've got Chelsea pyjamas. No, I wear the shirts to bed. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get William something and then we get Richard something. They'd like a jersey of They'd like, yeah. a, like yeah. a kit. We need two more. Two more? Same size? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to get your names and yeah. numbers, yeah? Yeah. So you get yours, Williams and Richard's on? Yeah. Pen for school? Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Yeah? Have you got a little key ring? No. You want to do one for the boys? Yeah. No, but I'll okay, grab you one more, yeah? Thanks. You're going to be their best mate, you know? That yeah, is no, like... I already am. No, thanks for everything. Listen, mate, you're welcome. I said to you. I'm still speaking. How about this, eh? Exhausted from their shopping and with it almost time to say goodbye, there was just enough time for John and Oren to have a drink in the bar. You were saying you was in hospital for six, seven months at yeah. one point at a time. Was that quite tough for you? Yeah. And the well, family yeah. and stuff as well? Makes you stronger though, doesn't it? You know, when you come through something oh, oh, like yeah, that, yeah, it does, makes yeah. you stronger in you. It does. And that's how you first sort of become involved with Chelsea and knowing well, everything you know about Chelsea. <laughs> well, when I first became a fan, yeah. it was between Arsenal and Chelsea. Didn't know how to choose. And then when the cup final came along, yeah, yeah I just decided whoever would have won that, I'd support. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> A good choice anyway, because they've yeah. not won much since then, have they? Yeah. <laughs> thanks so much. Listen, mate, it's a done. pleasure, right? I mean, yeah. it, honestly, thanks for your support and coming to the game last yeah. night. An opportunity for you to meet all the players and just goes to show how much everyone appreciates your support for the team and, and everything like that, mate. Okay? And I'm just yeah. glad you got to meet everyone and the manager's message. Yeah. Quote off Roman as well, the first ever. I know, yeah. Yeah? You had a really good couple of days, didn't you? Yeah. But honestly, we'll stay in touch, right? And yeah. you got to let me know you get on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> And say to William, he's got to start tracking back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, he's not going to get that shirt. All right. <laughs> all right, mate. Thanks very much, all right? Thanks. Thank you. Top man. <laughs> JT and, and the lads done for me it was uh, unbelievable. There's a credit to himself for, for fighting and, and, and yeah. still being here. Thanks John for everything, you've been really kind to me. His knowledge of the football club is incredible. Thanks for buying me all that stuff. Good luck, good luck the weekend. Yeah, yeah. thanks. thanks. See you guys, you too. take care. Oh, thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Good. Yeah. Good? Yeah. I was trying to score for you tonight. Get in, get in here. If the guy wasn't pulling me on the corners, I would have scored. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Are you on a breath of the dog? Yeah. Who is he? He's the tennis player, though, just that one guy. So, breath of the dog, Ron Gale, walk out next to each other, and the most important one is. Ron Gale? We'll, we'll keep winning if you keep coming. That's like the job me with the boots. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite moment, Champions League. Oh, that's Even good. though I wasn't playing. What about tonight? Meeting me. And meeting you, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Oren expects Chelsea to be fighting it out for more silverware between now and May. As for his own battle against the illness which has changed his life, Oren says the kindness that John and the rest of the Chelsea team showed has given him just the boost he needs. There's even more unseen footage of Oren's time with Chelsea online now at skysports.com forward slash my special day. And once again, we all wish you a very happy Christmas. Watch all six Sky Sports channels on your mobile and online.